Hey, Jill's Blessed Vegan, and as always, welcome to my channel. And for those who are new, I hope you can benefit. So I had kind of an unexpected thing. I was rebounding. It's Saturday, and I was on there for quite a while while my dogs were outside. And by the time I came back to the present and got off of the rebounder, I found a bunch of little dead bunny rabbits. And they were brand new. I mean, literally, their eyes weren't open. They were pretty much newly born and I don't know if they were dead or not or if the mom had abandoned them but one of my dogs in particular was proudly showing me that she had found them and I was just sickened and so sorry because by the end there were six of them and I didn't know they were rabbits I didn't know what they were so I just posted them and said do people know what these are and I'm praying for them and most people determined they were rabbits, but one girl kind of let me have it on Instagram saying I should have watched my dogs better and those rabbits had a right to live. And it was like, man, nobody would have protected those bunny rabbits more fiercely than me had they been alive or I had, you know, found them. I raised these three little kittens that we found in a parking lot that were newly born. And I was scared to death around the clock for three months trying to feed them every single second that I wasn't required to be elsewhere. And I would have done the same thing for those bunnies. So she didn't really need to shame me on that. But on the other hand, I was thinking, you know, it, it was the dog's natural curiosity and dogs have a right to be outside. And that was this, that was just the circumstance of the day. So God bless that little mom. If indeed she didn't abandon them when she comes back and finds her bunnies missing. But um, I already did everything I could and I was already praying all I could. Oh, God, I didn't expect that today with all that I've been through. But anyway, all right. So what I was going to say was I wanted to talk about that very common phrase where people say that blood is thicker than water. And they usually bring it up with family, with circumstances regarding family. But I was watching a show and it referenced that and said that that wasn't even the original verse and that it wasn't about family. And I found that interesting. So I looked up the verse and it says, and I'll, I'll include it. It says, this is one of the many Bible verses that has been misadapted for common use because the word covenant doesn't roll off the tongue in everyday use. However, the real version completely changes the meaning. The quote comes from, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. And this actually means that blood shed in battle bonds of soldiers more strongly, forgive me, I'm misreading it, means the blood shed in battle bonds soldiers more strongly than simple genetics. Although we're commonly used to suggest the strength of family ties, it doesn't refer to family at all. Um, but the reason that I found it interesting was because I think that it's so true far beyond battle, but I think we're in a battle right now. This is why it struck me because I was like, you know, we are all in a war right now. Anyone who's trying to go vegan, anyone who's trying to honor the planet and animals and their body and go against the standard American diet and what we probably were raised with, it's a battle. And when it comes to like, people actually um, putting us down, critiquing us, challenging us, judging us, all of those things, I feel like this is a covenant. It's a promise to one another that we're going to stay the course and make a change first for ourselves and then for those we influence and more than anything for the animals who get to live because we're choosing to eat this way and for the planet that may have the smallest chance of recovering as a result of this better choice. So, so often in all of these support groups, and I'd like to think Jill's Blessed Vegan is a support group for you or certainly will grow into one, um, that in all of these support groups, we so often say, man, you guys accept me and know me and understand me better than my own family. So in a way, the blood of the covenant is thicker. Our covenant is to this way of eating and this cause than the water of the womb. I wish family understood me. Um, my family's certainly open to letting me do my own stuff. I'm old enough for that. But I know a lot of you are wishing your family understood you better. So may we continue to be a covenant for one another in this walk, in our vegan walk. And this is certainly a strong bond, which in many ways exceeds the water of the womb. What do you think about that? I found it super interesting. All right, my friends, I'm going to continue to mourn those little bunnies and uh, get on with my day as best I can. I think I was already so vulnerable 
from all the stuff I went through this past week that I just didn't expect to have to deal with that too. <laughs> but you know what? It's like I said, life is so daily. So peace be with you and with me. Please share, like if you like, join us if you haven't. And until we talk again, best of all, be blessed.